Hello my Facebook friends, it's Kylie Bartlett here, the web celeb, bringing you today's Facebook 2 minute takeaway tips video. Have you ever received an invitation to an event on Facebook where it has absolutely no relevance to you? Or what about you've received a private message in your inbox that you've been tagged in that yet again is completely irrelevant and is wasting your time even reading? Did you know that 95% of people don't know how to put friends in lists? And this is what I'm going to show you today. Because when you can put your friends in lists, you can then hit your target market every single time. Would that be of use to you? I think I've got your attention now. Let me show you how it works. We're going to go over here to account. I'm going to click on edit friends. Now it'll bring up all my friends on Facebook. Over here you'll see all the lists I've got people in. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to sort my friends by city. So let's say the city is Geelong, which is where I live. So I'll type in Geelong. On the drop down menu I'll click on it. And what it shows is that 26 people on my friends list live in Geelong. Now what you do is you can either create a list called the Geelong list that I've already done or your city and then you go through and you put people in the list. Now you'll see as I hover over most of these people are in my Geelong list. Let me find one that I haven't got in my Geelong list. Ah, uh, Erica. So I'll put her in my Geelong list and you just go through and put people in lists. Now here's the cool bit. Let's say I wanted to run an event. So I'm going to go over here and pretend to set up an event. So I create event and let me call it, I don't know, social media. Here we go. Introduction to social media marketing for small business. Where am I going to do it? I'm going to run it in Geelong. So I'll just put Geelong there for now. Now you'd put in the correct address. Now if I click select guests and go up here to this drop down, I can select my Geelong list, go through and tick all the people that live in Geelong to invite them to this event. Now I can go down here, send them an invite by email or by a personal message and they will now receive an invitation to an event in the city that they live in. Now don't you think that's a better way of inviting people when the message is targeted? Don't you think that your conversion is going to go up if you use this technique? I think so. Now let me show you another really clever way. So let's say for example, I'm not going to save that, let me go over here back to my friends list and we can also sort our friends by interest that they've put in their Facebook information profile. So let me go down here and go interests and I could type in yoga. What will happen is it will sort through and find all the people who have written yoga in their info box which we have 115 people. Let me create a list. Sorry, it's taking a moment. Here we go. So apologies for the video being over two minutes, but it has to populate 4,000 of my friends, hence why it's taking a bit of time. So I'm going to type in the word yoga. It will come up. And rather than going through them all now, I'm just going to click on them, pretend they have yoga as an interest, create a list so you can see what happens when we send them a message. So there we go, I've added these two people into my yoga list. Now look what happens when you go over here and I want to send a private message. I can go to send a message and instead of typing everyone's name, I can type yoga list and now everyone on that list will come up or I can type my Geelong list and all of those people that were attached to my Geelong list will come up and then I type my message. Now a little key here, you can't have more than 20 people in a list so you might have to have list one, two, three, four. But can you see how this is a far more targeted approach in reaching your target audience? So until the next video, bye for now.